Okay, so I put the tripod on the tray of my keyboard tray. I can't get to my keyboard now, but I had to shove it way up off the tray. But you can see at least a good three quarters of the screen. Yeah, so, um, <coughs> and I won't be moving around. So you've got uh, quite a few apps here. That are all around security and penetration testing and stuff like that. And uh, get into the security lab, that's where you get into all this mm -hmm. stuff. But uh, every one of these that has that brown, looks sort of, I don't know what it looks like, it looks like a box of bread to me, but whatever it's supposed to look like. Uh, <coughs> those are all t command line stuff. And very few of them I can actually run because they got some involved commands. Uh, so that's why I don't really use this very often. In the system apps, there's a whole bunch more. But in the middle of all that, there'd be a few like that's check root kit there. That's a GUI version of it. Installed a hard drive. LPH crack. Now that's where you can get your. Uh, that's a password finder for uh, Windows. And you can blank your password, you can change the password, you know, whatever you need to do. Zen, Zen Map is a network. Oh, that's off the bottom of the screen and then the very bottom one there. Anyway, <coughs> uh, now I'm uh, only about a quarter of the way through. That's just my downloads directory. I'm kind of thinking that the way to do this, if I'm really going to do it, is uh, <coughs> is to uh, go over here to Young and update all these apps first. Make sure that this app I'm running is updated. See, I've got it installed, but it's not updated. And the other thing is that maybe this system will run out of memory before it finishes the scan. When it's running, com you know, so much in memory, then uh, and this is RAM memory. What I'm talking about then you may not ever finish your scan. So, uh, other thing I might want to see is can't, is there an app in here to help make, you know, build a remix of this? A lot of Debane, Debane comes with a real easy to use one, but, and some of the other distros do, but, uh, Fedora used to have one that was a GUI that worked pretty well, <coughs> but it, they just quit developing it. And uh, it's still around, but it, it won't work. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm looking through these menus to see if maybe there's something that would do that, like there was in Sleetas. Some of the ones that you actually really only, I only really want to run live. Uh, of course, you can still make your custom ISO, but they're the ones that have that. But I've got my clan TK. But what would be good is once you got it set up and working, is to save it. But I do not see installed a hard drive is there. But uh, you want it to be, if you're going to put it in different machines, you don't want to install it. You want it to be a live system so it will find the hardware and work. So, what I'm going to do then, yeah, it, it's taken a bit to respond now, so I'd say the memory's getting a little. Oh, yeah, I already looked and I didn't see like a normal graphic system. It's on my, it's on an APK file with my phone. Yeah, there's a lot of files in there. There's all these videos and backups for my phones. I forgot that's what's in my downloads on that machine. So I'm gonna hit cancel. <coughs> It'd be silly really to just scan that folder anyway. Let's see if it'll cancel all right. I think I'll just close my yum extender to give it some memory back and uh, just move this over a little bit more. There we go. It's already beginning to 
exactly what I want. Okay. Possible threats found. Yeah, I thought maybe it would. Uh, oh, huge amount of stuff. Let's go back to smaller so it'll show up in my window here. Spyware. Spyware Pro. Right, what is that? I can't read. I gotta make it big so I can read it. So what I'll do is kind of move the phone over to that side. Okay, there we go. <coughs> PAU password. Yeah, something I forgot what that stood for already. But this is spyware hacker. Oh, what is the software that it's in? Whoops. Webcam capture. Huh. Now, see, there you go. Wasn't really expecting that. <coughs> see if I can make this to where I can read it better. Okay, so that is an app called Webcam CamerSoft. Oh, okay. And uh, CamerSoft unzipped. That's the deal files. So it says that <coughs> it has uh, spyware XPC Spy Pro. It's probably how they monitor your use of it and all that stuff, but it could be more than that, you know. Cam Studio, PAU. What I don't get is it's in that category, of, you know, what I was about the password <laughs> thing. Password cracking is what I gathered it was through. PAU, Cam Studio. Okay, so that's in there. Manicam. PAU and Packer Pseudo Signer. Don't know what that is. That was not checked by default, so I guess it's not like a regular everyday virus. It thinks that you need to. Camrads. It's a really old camera app. That used to be a website where you could. Uh, Put your webcam on the internet back with dial-up days. It's not the website's not there anymore. But the software still runs. Actually, I think maybe the website is still there. But anyway, it's old. Um, but that just says when Packer Borland Delphi S E. And again, these things are not dealing uh, driver. Yeah, see, the, you'd have to know. You know, I'm pretty familiar with n types of viruses and malware, but this is getting into above my head here to actually know what it, whether it's bad, really bad or not. So, uh, yeah, all kinds of seems like everything to do with w webcams is in that list. So, uh, Total Commander. Well, I've been using Total Commander for many years. Uh, I paid for it. And uh, you actually still get free updates so once you pay for it. So uh, I've got newer versions of it. Yeah, 8.52 is probably one of the newer, probably may still be the newest version. Same thing, Windpacker, Borland. I know there's nothing wrong with it. So um, I guess if you, you might be better off not checking that box for the, uh, my phone. What's that? APK backup it says it's an exploit. What is it? SD card toolbox. It's one of my favorite apps. Malware bytes, spyware XPCS. That is the malware bytes install file. Of course, those may have virus signatures in them. Okay, now that's where I stopped it. Uh, it was in my APK backups of my phone stuff. Uh, office for the phone, WPS Office, M Office for the phone, it says it has an exploit, so yeah, <coughs> I, I don't know very, you know, I'm just, I've read about Android on and off all over all these years, but I hadn't had a mobile phone from 2002 until a couple months ago, so I never had a smartphone before, or a mobile phone at all since my old uh, Ericsson phone, <laughs> way back. So, all I know about all this Android stuff is what I've read and the little bit I've learned in the last few months, which I have been fooling with them quite a bit. But, and it's very it uh, Android's based on Linux, so you know. But still, uh, I don't know. So, 
there you go. I finally found a way to run uh, Clam IV in a live system again. Uh, so that's uh, actually encouraging. It might be useful. As since I've scanned this thing so many times and it's come up, you know, the other scan, let it's come up. Uh, I think clean enough. I don't think I'll spend another day <laughs> running. The, I don't kind of want to in a way, but I don't know. Let's see. Settings. Yeah, scan for P PUAs. Uh, detect package binaries, password, recovery tools, and more. Okay, so that's stuff inside of apps. Okay, I see now. So I guess, you know, but if you don't, scan for those then what are you skipping you know things that are bad so this one takes um, Linux a lot of files begin with a dot that's why I would always scan those when, of course it wouldn't matter well then probably I think there's some in Windows too and a few anyway this is I am well, actually I'm thinking of scanning Linux and I want to be able to scan my backup server that's why I'm mostly interested in using this right here so, uh, and it's a Fedora system. Well, and my web server, you know, I could use it on there. Well, I have Clam AV on it. I can run it from, while it's running, you know, I can scan all my web server directories and all that. I used to run an FTP server, but I, it, I got so much traffic, people trying to break into it. I, I don't believe anybody ever once broke into it, but I, it was uh, using all my bandwidth, so I just turned it off on my new Fedora 23 server. I just didn't install FTP server at all. Well, not to the internet anyway. So, um, yeah, and before you really used it, you would want to uh, update the entire system. So that would be something you'd have to do. The machine that you use would have to have enough memory for you to. The good thing is this is XFCE desktop, which is really lightweight. I wouldn't really try that with Mate. Try when you're doing all this from memory. It uses a, it's pretty fast desktop, but it still uses a lot more memory than XFCE, so um, and system resources. But yeah, I could do that. Um, and uh, but you'd have to, you'd want to. I mean, you can just do what I just did, just go and install this and then run it. But you're going to want to use the Yum Extender. Admin, admin use yum extender to uh, well, it's going to take forever to find the updates but you'd want to go ahead and install those updates before you you probably go ahead and install the app like I did and then then run the updates and um, it's not a whole lot well yeah there is I'll bet you that's I, I don't think I'll we, what you do is well, I can't see it <coughs> pick this up what you do is go down here to the right and say select all the bottom right and it automatically selects them all for a long time I didn't see that and I was having to do them one at a time because I was used to using a different package manager for years and then uh, it apply and it'll go through and tell you what all is going to happen ask you if you were really want to do it and uh, Then you can do it. I'm waiting to get back up here. Seeing that this old little cheap tripod does not move easily. Now that's really odd. Oh, it's because of the way I have this on. The, my phone is in a cassette case, a rubber band to a cassette case, and then screwed down to the tripod. So the tripod is not crooked. Set case is crooked. <coughs> okay, so um, or the phone. Well, the phone looks straight in the set case, but uh, anyway. So see, it's taken a good while because that was a good amount of stuff. You can make it full. Well, you can make it full screen, but in that mode, it doesn't matter. You just see a big longer bar. But I usually make it full screen to read everything in the window, or at least make it longer. You can make it longer, but. Uh, you can drag. That's the other thing that's nice in Fedora. You can drag 
things around like you want to. You can do that in this is XFCE, but Mate especially you can do that. And more and more in Windows, they don't allow you to do that in apps, and it just drives me crazy. Because you need to be able to read everything. If it's cut off, it's useless. Some of them don't even have a page, you know, a page bar up and down and back, left and right in them. See all the, you can, in the left, you can see all those apps going by that are going to be updated. Okay, now, we've got 487 megabyte total, so I'm not going to do that. See, that's a good quarter, two gigabyte of RAM, that's one quarter of your entire RAM. So, that would kind of kill that scheme there of, uh, doing that in a live system unless you got I mean you could probably do it the thing is if you used a whole quarter of your RAM and then you start running that scan and it start ends up using like a gig of RAM you're running you know and then whatever it takes to run the operating system you may be running a risk of the system locking up before it's done scanning because running a virus scans uses a lot of cache memory and if it's doing all on a live system then it's using up your RAM so, I guess my whole plan is blown right there. It's probably one of the reasons why I never have really done that. <coughs> but, uh, anyway. Okay. I keep doing this instead of just going on. I keep looking at all, all this stuff on my Sardis set up here. Alright, this done. I'm going to get out of here. Why you get out of here? Log out. Okay. And shut down. Alright, this done. Bye.